Let's see, Magistrate Bernard. Huh, that's weird. Let's go see that. Let's see what that's all about. Hey, Magistrate, buddy, what are you doing? You there, Ferelden. I wish to speak with you. Oh, good. Here we go. You've gained quite a reputation with the Red Iron Mercenary Band. I find myself in need of someone with your special talents. My special talents? I'm guessing you don't mean my ability to juggle small rodents to Orlesian ballads. If that is your greatest skill, then I have been misinformed. I am looking for muscle, not whatever it was you were just describing. A man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. Uh -huh. A request that should have been made of the guard. What's the, what was this man's crime? Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. Okay. That sounds too easy. We're both intelligent people. There's something in the ruins, isn't there? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. Investigate. What kind of creatures? Do you know what manner of beasts they are? I don't know what they look like. I've never seen one myself. The guards say these things have already torn through a full company of men. That sounds fun. Why not just let them be eaten? It'd be easier to seal up the entrance and let the beasts take care of him. I believe in justice, Ferelden. Not unbridled slaughter. Uh... I will not let prisoners be eaten just because I don't want to get my hands dirty. Uh, so why not send more guards? I'm sure if you send in enough men this time, they'd do fine. No. The more guards who know, the easier it is for this to get out. Those men gossip like old fishwives. Yeah, they do. They really do. Alright, I'll do it. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. You sit for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? Hey, what's going on here? Nabil? I hear you're in need of a bit of help. Ah, so you're the reinforcements the magistrate promised. The man you're looking for, he's holed up in the ruins. Though I doubt he's still in one piece. That bastard's to be brought in alive after all he's done? Just because it isn't you and your pretty little Shemlin children he's after. Pretty children? Look at these guards. I doubt either of them has to worry about having pretty children. <laughs> That's not what I meant. The man you're after, he targets elves. He dragged my daughter into those ruins and killed her. I want him dead. My girl, Leah, uh, she wasn't his first victim. Over the years, he's taken dozens of our children, and not once has he paid for his crimes. And you are... Would you mind telling me who you are? Uh, my name is Elrond. I'm a merchant in the city. Please, no one else cares that our children are being slaughtered like beasts. How does this go unnoticed? There must be some humans who would take offense to these disappearances. We're nothing to them. Even if this murderer does finally go before the courts, the magistrate won't take our word over his. The fugitive targets elves? Why only elves? Why not human children as well? We're easy prey. No one thinks twice when an elven child disappears. That ma the man's a monster. I'll tear his throat out myself. Thank you, Sarah. You have no idea what this means. You couldn't turn to the guards. For all my damn coin, I'm still only an elf to these Shemlin. There'll be no justice for my girl in the courts of Kirkwall. What about you men here? What do you say about all this? Yes. What do you have to say? They won't go in after him. They're stalling. Trying to give the murdering bastard a chance to get away. Oi now, elf. Like we said before, you're bleeding mad if you think we'll be going against the magistrate's orders. Alright, I'll help you. This murderer cannot be allowed to walk free. Then that bastard will finally get what he deserves. Thank you. Not wise, stranger. You try to take justice into your own hands. The magistrate will have your head. Only if it's reported. Well, we'll be quiet then. <laughs> I love how Aveline will actually actively break the law if it means dishing out actual justice. I love 
<laughs> um, it's it's just amazing how she'll just be like, you know what? Only if it's reported, you know. I mean, she would know. She's literally part of the guard, so really, she would know more than anyone else about what would happen in the guard. Only if it gets reported. Let's go. Oh, good. More loading screens. Just what I've always wanted. Okay, so that's an exit. Ew. You mean it's the... Oh, God. It's hell! Why must games make giant scooters all the time? No, really. Why? Because last I checked, this is awful. Small spooter thing. But I need a giant spooter cell gland thing. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay. Chest standard. Oh, Vark, this is, um... Ooh. Abilities? Uh, let's give him more of these abilities here, so that that way he can just keep... Yeah, it's, it's nice to see that he's being a friend of mine. But I need you to open up this chest. Mont de Glace Strand. Is that it? Cool. Um... Wait, I think I know exactly what I need. Okay, so actually, no abilities. Where is Winter's Grasp? We're gonna need a. Because I mean, it just kind of screams we're gonna be going against something that is fire. I mean, really. Door, open up. Hmm. Oh hi. Let's see, you... Wait, Borkenstern, come out! We can't go without Borkenstern. Okay, I, I don't want to be attacked here. Please, get him off me. Okay, just keep getting these guys. Is that a, it's a venomous, oh no, Meryl, my love. There we go. Ooh. Alright. Spooter's taken care of. Mine. Alright, so. That's where the magistrate's orders is. But where is the spooter gland? Because I need the gland. I know I don't know where it is or maybe I just keep killing these spooters and whoo pile of bones see there's a door so then what's over here a chest cool I'll take it yeah, anything coming up ah uh, yeah uh-huh oh they're all low health lights them out uh, oops. Well, whatever. I guess we can just go under more magic and then more constitution. Because I need her to live here. And then you can have apocalyptic firestorm. And, oh, God. Okay. More dexterity. Me. More constitution and willpower. And you. Strength. And then you can have, uh, this ability here. There. Great. You can do this. Okay, let's keep going. Cork and Stern, where are you? Oh, he's in the scooters. Okay. Grab, grab. And... Pewter Pennant of Wolves Howling at the Moon. Aveline, did you just howl? Because I picked up the pendant? Why'd you do that? She just went, ah! Okay. Well. Alright. What are we doing here? 
Oh hell no. Ow! Deuce. Okay, you need to move. Because I've got fire coming down. You need to move because i got fire coming down. And then uh, you need to attack that guy. Uh, Aveline, I need you to get on this guy and tank him. You, you need to just keep attacking whatever it is that you're attacking. Um, you, do that. Oh, I'm... Ow. Okay, so I need to heal. Right. Oh, he's dying. What? Oh, he's gonna die. Unless he can potion. And he's dead. Um. Aveline, we need you. Scooters are evil. I'm trying. She's dying. Hope no one else needs this. Get off me. Borkenstern, where are you? I need you, Borkenstern. God, these things are everywhere. I'm too good looking to die this young. I agree, man. It is, you know, one should never die. Okay. So that's that. And, um, let's see. Magistrate's orders are definitely over there. So uh, if I take this door, does this mean... Okay, so that leads me way the hell over there. Who are you? Please, can you get me out of here? I just want to go home. Don't be afraid, Darlene. Everything's going to be alright now. Leah, your father told us you were dead. My father? Is he safe? Kelder said that he'd hurt my family if I didn't come with him. Kelder? Who is Kelder? The man who took me. Are uh, you escaped? How did you escape your dastardly kidnapper? Kick to the groin, sand in the eyes, rock to the head? Kelder? No, he let me go. I tried to make it to the entrance, but I hid when those creatures showed up. I thought I heard him calling for me. I almost went back to him. I didn't want to be eaten. But Kelder, he was... He hit me, told me I was nothing. I begged him to stop hurting me. I didn't think he would, but out of nowhere, he pushed me away and just started crying. Don't you see? He didn't mean to hurt me. He told me. There are demons. They make him do these horrible things. <laughs> what a brilliant excuse. <laughs> I'll have to remember to use that. A demon made me do it. There are a lot of cruel people out there, Princess. Completely demon free. But it's true. How else could he do something like this? Please. Uh, I'll try to show him mercy. Kelder is dangerous, Leah. If he fights back, I can't promise he won't get hurt. He won't fight you, I promise. Oh, he will. Run to the entrance. You'll find your father there. What? Don't look at me like that. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, it. Oh, ew, ew. Okay, Meryl, can you blow them up real quick for doing that to me? Oh. What? Okay, we need to start attacking. Okay, let's go forward. Oh, that's it? Yeah, we won. Against these, which is weird that we won against them, but at the same time, it feels weird that, you know, that's all that was here. Really. So then, now that we found the little girl, does that mean that we're fine now? Um, Borkenstern, come out. 
Stop rolling around, Barkin, sir. We got work to do. God. Knock, knock. Hey, what's up, bud? I knew my father would eventually send someone. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. You came here to die? You wanted those creatures to kill you. Why? It's what I deserve. I should be torn apart. Forgotten down here. Not protected by my father. You aren't what I expected. From the Magistrate's vague description, I expected a hardened criminal, not a whining coward. He didn't tell you, did he? The Magistrate is my father. He's tried so hard to keep me... and what I've done... hidden away. I'm disgusted by the both of them. Uh, he's protecting his position. The Magistrate's more worried about keeping his job than doing his job. Father is a good man. He tried to help to stop me, but he can't. No one can. That elf girl, she had no right to be so beautiful, so perfect. The demon said she needed to be taught a lesson, like all the others. The circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. Why did you let the girl go? Leah said you told her to run. Why? I was... crying, and she asked me if I was all right. After everything the demons made me do to her. She was concerned about me. How could I let them destroy something so good? So pure? Because you're an insane lunatic. By the way, there's actually a, some, there's actually a term for people like this who actually believe that they're possessed by demons. So, you know, it's basically come down to the point where we've actually investigated people for being so crazy, so insane, that we actually had to start giving them a term. This is something that's been gone on for many, many, many years, by the way. That's why you kill them? Let me get this straight. You torture and murder elven children for being too beautiful. I... I didn't want to hurt them. They force me. The demons don't like it when they cry. What a headache. I'm not getting paid enough for this. <laughs> I can't stop. I've tried so many times. Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. Just tell my father I'm sorry. For everything. This ends with your death. Must you be so dramatic? Some people are simply broken. I like the fact that Meryl actually liked that. <laughs> uh, Birkenstern, what did you see? Actually, Birkenstern, would you be a good boy and eat that? It's probably delicious, right? Good boy. Alright, let's get out of these ruins. Humans are probably going to be pissed off, but whatever. You saved her! My little girl! I didn't dare hope... Did you find that monster? Is he dead? He can't get much but deader. We could bring him back as the undead and then kill him again. No, that's alright. I'd rather he stay dead. I didn't believe an elf could ever get justice in Kirkwall. I speak for all of us when I say that we are in your debt, Sora. I feel just as bad for those knife ears as the next man. But ignoring the Magistrate's direct orders, that's madness. Oh, blow me. Blow me. Honestly, blow me. You guys could have done your jobs so much better, but you didn't. Instead, you were all out here like, ooh, ignoring the Magistrate. Ooh, that's a bit, a bit... Wait, why does it say herbalist tasks? So then what's still here? I don't understand. You know, um, herbalist tasks. Bring, uh, find a giant spell, silk lamp, Marzak, Marcus active quest. So then, what am I looking for? Maybe if I go back in the ruined passage, I might find something. Huh. I don't see anything. Weird. Let's just go. Maybe we'll find another sp uh, spider silk gland sometime. I don't know. It 
Okay, so now we gotta tell the magistrate what happened, so... Oh, uh, there we go. There we go. Hey, buddy, what's going on? You dare show your face to me again. If you know what's good for you, you'll leave my city and... And never come back. Oh, shut up. Honestly, shut up. That guy is going around murdering children. Children. Says uh, that a Chantry sister has been flashing coin around around Lowtown, fishing for help with some unnamed problem. Details are light, but maybe. Wasn't her recommended checking for her in Lowtown? Oh. 